And Kevin Durant, who, of course, won two championships with Steve Kerr in Golden State, will play on Team USA. And obviously they, they have much success together, but, you know, that relationship was testy at times. Yep. And um, Steve Kerr came out today, was it, I believe, and gave yesterday, gave Kevin Durant uh, really high praise. Uh, here it is. You played with Michael Jordan, and and, and I know. KD is, I know. Is I, I think he's more gifted. I really do. I mean, uh, uh, that's saying something. But Kevin is a different, entirely different breed. I mean, six eleven uh, with guard skills, unlimited three point range, passing, shot blocking at the rim. It's just stunning. And watching him this year was really, really gratifying to see. All right, Vijay, I'm going to let you have first dibs at this one, man. What, what do you think of those comments? I think what Steve Kerr is doing is what Steve Kerr has always done. Steve Kerr knows where his plants are watered. He knows where his bread is buttered. He know, uh, you know who made the greens and the potatoes all at the cookout. He knows where to go to. He knows what to, what to say. And I think what he's doing here is he's – I don't want to use the word pacify – But he's bigging up his guy. He played with Jordan, yes, but this guy helped him win two championships as a coach and helped keep that thing rolling, uh, go to state. Now, with that being said, I think he's wrong. And it's not to just be on, you know, Jordan, 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 Jordan. But, yeah, seven-footer, can handle like a guard, can shoot. But Jordan had like that it that I think people still – question whether Durant has. He left Oklahoma uh, Oklahoma City. Well, you're talking about an intangible. Yeah, exactly. An intangible. But a lot of times intangible will help you win championships in sports. And I I think he he can't catch that with Jordan. Jordan had the ultimate intangible, whether people liked it or not. He said in the last dance, if you don't want to lead that way, don't. But this is how I did it. And this is why I'm 6-0 in the finals. And I don't think Durant has that. I don't think Durant is the score. I mean, he's number five all time behind uh, MJ, Will, Elgin, and the logo. Kevin Durant's at uh, number five at twenty-seven a night. Uh, you know, over his uh, twenty-seven night over his career. So he's not the score Jordan was. Jordan's only a rebound or a assist or two behind him, even in those categories. So um, I, I think Steve Kerr is just. You know, kind of pacifying his guy. Uh, who knows? Durant may end up back in Golden State if things don't work out in Brooklyn a year or two. Can he opt out after next season or yeah, something? Yeah, but I, I don't expect to see that. You, hey, <laughs> we didn't expect to see him leave Oklahoma City for Golden State neither. I certainly there's I there's no way he's going back to Golden State. I'll put wings. No I'll put wings on it. Yo, we put wings on that for sure. If they don't, you really? If he doesn't go back to Golden State, if you owe me wings, yeah. If they do, okay. but, I'm, but I'm telling you, I'm telling Heck, you, it, it could we be up to Andy, brother. I can, okay, well, up to Andy. I, mean, I ain't scared. So you know what we bet around here. I ain't scared. Oh, some Jordan. So, man, first so of all, so if Kevin Durant never plays for the Warriors again, you gonna buy me a pair of Jordans? Hold on. First of all, I don't wear. I boycott Jordans. So I don't wear Jordans anymore. Stop. So I'll buy you some buddies. <laughs> you, whatever. What you want? What you want? <laughs> so <Yeah>. what? <laughs> so I don't know if y'all. You a little younger than me, but when we when I was coming up, it was buddies. They make you. Feel Feet feel fine, fine buddies. buddies. Yeah. They cost a dollar ninety nine. So if you want some of them, I, I do that. I do that. If they, if I, I think if they get eliminated early, if they get eliminated early next year in the playoffs, second round, either conference final, they don't make it to the finals. It Golden, it, he will entertain the idea of going back to Golden State, and they would have open arms. And because I think Durant's built, I think Durant's built. Yeah, I think Durant's built. But why? That way. Why would he go back to Golden State? Because he wants to. He wants to accolades. He said it about leaving Oklahoma City. Here I am. I left. I did everything that LeBron did. LeBron left and went and got a team. I went and you left know and got why a team. LeBron went and to Cleveland. I, I, I know. No, no, went to, no. Miami. I'm talking about when he went back to Miami. When he left Cleveland the first time, went to Miami. Durant has spoke openly about that and this guy won and he got all the accolades I did the same thing and then I beat him head to head twice why aren't you guys cheering for me those were Durant's words he no, said but that my himself point is I, that's all well and good yeah. but that what does that have to do with him going back to Golden State because he would want the more because you left that you didn't get the rings and and with, with the Nets and he's going to need more than two right don't you think Durant's going to need more than two I I I can't imagine he would go back I'm to just saying hey, like, it just doesn't I mean, I'm 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 pulling on the if big If he bridge. can't get rings with James Harden and Kyrie Irving, 
hey. then I'm not guaranteeing you're going to go back to Golden State and get rings. I am. He go back to Golden State with still Steph, Clay, and Draymond and whatever they may he add, w- Wiggins State. or whatever may, they may add. Listen, I don't like low-hanging fruit. You know me by now, Chris. I like to really leap out on my predictions. This is a huge— You leaping out, bro. This, exactly. You off the cliff. You in the water. You dead. And imagine if I, <laughs> imagine if I, ca- imagine if I cash in, though. All right. We'll, we will see. We'll see. see. We'll we'll see. Yeah. But, but here, here's where I'm going to go. And I, and I do think you're pretty, pretty right on Kerr and what he was trying to do. Yeah. Obviously, look, he's got to coach this guy in the Olympics. Yep. And he, he obviously wants it to be comfortable, and he wants the relationship to be restored. So I get all that. But I'm saying, here's what I'm going to say, bro. I think it was – he didn't mean it this way, but it's an insult. Mm. Not to Michael Jordan, mm-hmm. but to Kevin Durant. Oh. If you are more gifted – then Michael Jordan, Kevin Durant, and I'm not saying he is, but I'm I'm talking about Steve Kerr. Then why in the world have you not accomplished half? Yeah. And, and that's not a figure of speech. <laughs> Literally, you have not accomplished half yeah. of what Michael Jordan did. Michael Jordan won six championships. Half would be three. Kevin Durant's won two. Michael Jordan won 10 scoring titles. Half would be five. Kevin Durant's won four. Yep. Michael Jordan won five MVPs. Half would be two and a half. I'll give you two. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Kevin Durant's won one. He literally, and I'm not saying he's half the player or not half the player Jordan is. Kevin Durant is an all-time great top 15 player. The dude is bad. So I ain't got I ain't throwing no shade at KD. But I'm saying, if he's more gifted than Michael Jordan, but you have not achieved half of what Jordan did, how many years has Durant played? Durant's played 12 years. Jordan 12. played 15. We can really throw out Washington. Of course. He played 13 in Chicago. He was hurt one year. You well, two one year he was hurt. Another year he played, came back and played 18 games after baseball. So really he played 11 full seasons, but Durant's been hurt too. So just compare Chicago Jordan to this Durant. In basically the same amount of time, mm-hmm. he has not achieved half of what Michael Jordan did. Against Harden. And, and, and if, if that, then what's the, that is saying there is something missing from Kevin Durant. Yeah. And you brought up the intangibles. That means Jordan had the intangibles in spades and Kevin Durant's really lacking them. If Steve Kerr's right, I'm with you. I'm not saying he's more gifted than Jordan. But if you say he's more gifted than Jordan, then why in the world has he achieved so much less than Michael Jordan? Because you can be gifted and still have some shortcomings. That's something else I wanted to pinpoint this to. Steve Kerr so smart. Look at the adjective that he used. Gifted. Didn't say talented. Didn't say better. Didn't say, you know, right. I mean. It's very vague. It's, it's very vague. Very exactly. Open-ended. You could just say gift. Oh, 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 you know, VJ Vernon, he's gifted at sports. It, there's so much open. Then somebody could come in and then you could let whoever you want to let pick apart. But I think Kevin Durant is um, uh, thin-skinned enough to look at this and go, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, oh, that's right. My old coach called me more gifted than Michael. Not really even digging and digging deeper into the thing. And like I said, Steve Kerr knew what he was doing. This was perfectly planted. And that word gifted was very smart for him to use that word. Yeah, and and like you said, it's very vague. Mm-hmm. I'll just look at it. Now, Kevin Durant, yes, he's a seven-footer who has a silky smooth jump shot and got major handle. You know, he's not one of the best ball handlers in the league, but he's got really good handle for a guy that size, he can get to wherever he wants to go. Yeah. But Giannis Antetokounmpo is more athletic. Same size or actually bigger and more athletic. Um, Shaq was, I could argue Shaq was this gifted. Like Kevin Durant's gifted in the jump shot, which obviously took a lot of hard work. Like that, you didn't just come out of the crib shooting jumpers. I do think, Certain people, for some reason, 
have, you know, they may have more of a, you know, whether it's hand-eye coordination or touch or whatever it is, some people just have a gift for that. But you, no matter what your gift is for it, you still have to work really hard at it. Absolutely. So Kevin Durant, his best asset is something he just worked at. Was that a gift? Gifts to me are speed, quickness, coordination, um, jumping ability, height. Now, he's got the height. That's a gift. Yeah. But he's, again, not the most athletic seven-footer. Athletic, no doubt. But, you know, not wowing you with his athleticism. Yeah. You know, not he can jump, yes. But guys jump higher. He's not a leaper. Yeah, See, I he mean, could jump, but you wouldn't categorize him as a leaper. Right. So yeah. I'm just wondering the gift. Kevin Durant has worked hard to develop that jump shot from day one, mm-hmm. and I don't know that that's a gift. So I mean, Shaq is really gifted. Shaq is seven feet and huge, like yeah. like hefty. Yeah. But yet you remember him in Orlando, of course, major league athleticism. You know, uh, strength. Um, I mean, Shaq could do a lot that he didn't show. Shaq could, if Shaq played today, he could be a perimeter, you know, do some things on the perimeter. I mean, he 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 did have those skills, and he would have worked on them to have him at an even higher the level Laker if he played Shaq today. Or the Orlando Shaq? Well, but I'm, I mean, Orlando, but I'm saying okay. if it was the same league, if it was a league today and Shaq was playing in it, he would, we wouldn't have seen Laker Shaq. We'd have seen bits and pieces of it, but True. he would also shot jumpers. Yeah. He would have handled, you know, because we've seen him in Orlando push the ball up in transition. Mm-hmm. People laughed about it, and he joked about it because it was just unusual at that time. But he was gifted. Wilt Chamberlain was gifted. I mean, you know, it. I, you're right. Gifted is just a very vague term that could mean anything. But I'm just saying, like, I, if Kevin Durant's that much more gifted than Michael Jordan did, no. No. It's insulting because he hasn't he hasn't done half of what Jordan did. And it, and another thing about this because my mind just goes deep with certain topics when it came out. When I first read this, and you know Pippen's got a book coming out, I'm like, hold up, man, why is everybody taking shots? At my, is this the is this the time where now at we Kevin turn? Durant? No, no at, Mike, at Michael Jordan. At Michael Jordan is like, is this the time where we turn? Because of course, of course, the headline is Steve Kerr, you know, colon. Durant more gifted than MJ. You know, you know how media does. They got to put the they got to put the headline up there. So, right. so draws that Scotty book. Scotty Pippen's books coming out, and all the inserts are. You know, they wouldn't have been nothing without him. He didn't feel like he had Jordan's. Jordan had his back, and blah 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 blah. I'm sure there's a lot more in the book which I'm going to buy and read. But it's just it's just funny to me. It's like man, we we waited, didn't have no sports last year. ESPN pushed up the document for us to get the last dance, and then we started picking Jordan apart from episode one, and now we got this, and then. My mind just went there like, God, is this the era now where we built Jordan up? Is this the teardown? Because the teardowns never come, right? We build them up to tear them down. That's that's society. I'm like, yeah, man, is this the teardown part? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think I hope not. I yeah, hope but, not. Uh, but I'm look, Kevin Durant, awesome player, great career already, and still more to do, but more gifted than MJ. I, I don't know. You said top I mean, I, I'm fifteen. I'm not going there. You got him. You yeah. got him, top fifteen all time. Yep. Right now. Yep. Mm. Yep. I got him top twenty five. I don't know gifted. about top fifteen. Wow. Twenty five. Yeah. Yes. 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 Chris, you and I've had top ten discussions. You know, I view, I, I view, I try to take my heart. I really try to take my heart, and my love out of it, and just look at basketball over the eras. Just for what it is, I really do try to take my heart out of it, man. Especially being on a professional level, and just say no. I, I don't think this guy's there. I got him here. This is why I pay homage to a lot of older guys because I think we forget about a lot of older guys because we we are we're accustomed to just loving what we see now. And if you ask somebody, what's your top ten now? They'll name you five players that played in the last fifteen years. It's like, come on, well, bro. Like there was the, the, you know. mo- most people um, that that really do this for a living probably wouldn't do that. Okay, but you know, I, I feel what you're saying. Yeah. All right.